Hey, Ralph here from Microjig. Today, I'm going to take you step-by-step -step through installing an MJ splitter on your table saw. Without a splitter installed behind the blade of your table saw, stresses in your wood can cause the kerf to close behind the blade, pinching the back part of the blade, lifting your wood, and throwing it back at you in a kickback. A splitter behind the blade prevents the kerf from being able to close, which prevents the blade from being pinched, lifting the wood, and throwing it back at you. A splitter also prevents the keeper side of your lumber from being able to twist away from the fence, back into that blade, and again being lifted and thrown at you. A splitter really is crucial for using your table saw safely. Now in order to work properly, your splitter has to be sized to match the table saw blade that you're cutting with. Microjig offers the green set, which is sized for a 1 8 inch standard curved table saw blade, or the yellow set, which is sized for a thin curved table saw blade. This is the one we're going to be installing today, but the procedure is pretty much the same for both of them. It's also critical that the splitter is exactly in line with the table saw blade. So included in the kit is this drill guide and drill bit to ensure that the holes you need for your splitter are in exactly the right place and exactly the right size. In your kit, you'll find a complete set of instructions, a warranty registration card you can fill out and mail in if you don't do it online, the drill guide for drilling the holes in your zero clearance insert, two MJ splitters, a drill bit of the proper size for the splitters, and a set of screws for mounting the drill guide. You're going to need to provide a blank zero clearance insert that you can drill to mount your splitter. You're also going to need a piece of scrap a half an inch thick, four and an eighth wide by 15 inches long to mount your drill guide to so that you can align it to the table saw blade to drill your holes in the right spot. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Start by ripping the stock that the drill jig will mount to. Again, 15 by 4 and an eighth by half inch thick. Then scribe a line 3 inches down from one end of this piece of stock. Next, the rib fence needs to be set to 2 inches away from the blade and the blade height set to about a quarter of an inch above the top of your material. Now, rip down this piece until you reach that line that you just scribed at 3 inches down from the end. As you reach the line, shut the saw off and hold the part in place until the blade stops moving. Be sure to stop right at that line. With the saw unplugged and the part still in place, run the blade up to its maximum height. Then slide the carrier part down and insert the fingers of the drill jig into the kerf that's already cut in that piece. With the drill jig tight against the end of the piece, Adjust it so that the tooth of your blade just aligns with the marks on the top of the jig. Once positioned, clamp the entire assembly in place. Now the drill jig can be screwed into place. I'm using a power driver to set the screws, but to ensure they don't strip, I'm using a hand tool to set them finely tight. Notice also that I'm pushing on the jig to keep it tight against the kerf on the fence side. Now drill out the four center holes in the jig. Take one smooth pass all the way down through your zero clearance insert plate. Don't ream the holes or they'll be too large. You should now have four clean holes directly in line with your blade that your splitter will press directly into. Check to make sure there's no binding. Although you use them one at a time, you do get two MJ splitters in your kit and each side has a different marking on it. The pins on the bottom of the MJ splitter are slightly offset to allow you to fine tune the fit. So you can adjust the pressure pushing against the keeper piece, keeping it tight to the fence. The instruction sheet tells you how and why you would want to make these adjustments. The MJ splitters from Microjig are specifically designed to work with your Gripper 3D push block system giving you maximum safety and control over your workpiece. The fact that they're so easy to install and use is just a bonus. 
Learn more about all our great safety products at www.microjig.com.